yeah I think this is good to go uh, for your basic setup uh, for rules now we also want the plugins that we have available so for plugins we'll go ahead and create a constant called plugins okay and then inside of this we are going to pass an array okay so we'll come back to this but we'll just put plugins over here down at the bottom so you can also pass plugins so I'll do plugins oops plugins plugins and we'll just call this plugin from right over here and then we're also going to pass this argb over here so the reason why we are passing that is because argb is going to contain some uh, information about the node environment so we can actually take advantage of that okay and then instead of this plugins we are going to use some plugins so first the first plugin we are going to use will be clean webpack plugin okay so let's go ahead and require it on top so we'll say const clean webpack plugin require clean webpack plugin so let me show you what it does okay so this basically the clean webpack plugin automatically removes all the unused webpack assets on rebuild okay so if you go ahead and search it clean webpack plugin let's take a look so this is the beauty of a webpack actually because you can use a lot you can use the different plugins that are available for different purposes so whatever purpose so whatever requirement you have you can just install the plugin and use it so webpack plugin to remove or clean your build folder right by default this plugin will remove all the files inside the webpacks output.path directory as well as all unused webpack assets after successful build okay so that's why we're using it so let's go ahead and use that uh, so how do we use it so there should be some information about how we use it uh, we can pass some optional information as well over here let's take a look clean webpack plugin yeah so I'm going to see what options we have available for the uh, option so we have like clean stale webpack assets set to false okay uh, so if we set it to false then it's not going to go ahead and uh, clean uh, and remove all of the unused webpack assets okay so probably we want to clean it in only at the time of production and not in development so what we're going to do is we'll come back we'll come back to our code and where we have these plugins defined inside of this array I will say new so this is how you use a plugin you, you do new and then you know so instantiate that object and then you use that plugin so inside of plugin I can pass the options so I can have what options do we have like clean state webpack assets you can see this is how you pass it new and then you pass the object and you pass the options inside of it so I can pass the clean stale webpack assets and I want to check if it's production or not so remember that we have the argv uh, available which we are then passing us, uh, it to the plugins and then it will be available here as parameter and then inside of the argv dot mode I have the information available whether or not it's a production production if it is production then it this is going to return true and if it is returned true this means that you know it's going to remove all of the unused webpack assets on rebuild right uh, but in the development it won't because this will be false in development mode all right so that's done and the next plugin we are going to use will be mini css extract plugin so if you remember that we are already using the mini css extract plugin over here but we haven't let the webpack know that you know we are going to use this plugin so you have to specify that here as well right and again it takes some parameters uh, which is file name and then file name will be css name css so which directory you want to you know uh, extract the css into so i want to extract it inside of the css folder so it will create a css folder and then whatever the name of the file is and then dot css just going to uh, you know 
put that inside of the CSS folder, inside of the build folder, and just whatever the name of that file is. So you will see that in a moment when uh, this is actually bundled. Okay, so I put a comma over here because you have to separate each item in the array with a comma. Okay, this is good. Thank you.